Reporting for duty, Professor. You keep coming back like a fearful homing pigeon. You're not gonna start tying messages to my leg, are you? Nah. But I am gonna give you higher profile deliveries. I'm hearing more and more about you. The job you're doing. You're building up quite the reputation as a carrier. And in doing so, you're helping the guild to grow. We're already expanding our operations, even in this dangerous time. All that's thanks to you. Now, these tasks will require some dedication. The communications are more critical to the recipient. And sometimes, the paths are more dangerous. I can handle it. I'm sure you can, Hotshot. Now, here's one marked highly confidential. So make sure it gets to the person it's addressed to, and only that person. You can count on me. Carrier, I have a confidential letter for you. Thank you. I, uh... Oh, no. Oh, dear God, no. What's wrong, ma'am? I would say it's none of your business. But I have no one else I can tell. Talking to you is like talking to a priest, right? 
Well, I, I suppose. I'm being blackmailed. Over what? I can't say. Not out loud. That's a filthy lie anyway. You need to help me. How? I'm going to give you some money. I want you to track down the bastard. Wait, you want me to pay off your blackmailer? Heavens no, he'll just keep asking for more. The money's for you. To kill him. Whoa. I'm a carrier, not an assassin. You must. You're the only one who can get close to him. Precisely because you're a carrier. He'll never see you coming. You sound pretty calculating. Of course. If your life were in danger, wouldn't you think of everything? Try anything to save yourself? I guess I see your point. If you don't agree, I don't know what I'll do. How could I even go on living? Please. Please. I'm begging you. Okay. Tell you what. I'll at least go meet the blackmailer. Bless you. You've saved my life. But you must go immediately, before the fiend thinks I'm trying to trick him.
How'd you get in here? The woman you're blackmailing sent me. You got the money? No, I'm taking you out and making sure you never bother her again. Do you even know what she's done? It doesn't matter, but I know what you've done. You tried to extort an old woman. <sighs> How'd it go, Hotshot? That was an adventure, and a mystery to boot. Oh, do tell. Yeah, maybe another time. Suit yourself. But you did great. Keep it up and you'll rise another guild rank before you know it. I could use more deliveries, Professor. You want them? I've got them, Hotshot. Here's a few. Are not easy to get to either. But I think you're ready. Born ready. That's what I like to hear. Set me free, and I won't say a word.
think I can see. I have a letter for you. Ooh, nice. Just what I was hoping for. Well, I'm glad I could be of service. I got this girl who writes me sexy letters. She's not my girl. She just does this for a living. So, you pay her to receive sexy letters? And sometimes pictures. I don't know if they're even her, but who cares? Can you blame a guy for wanting to feel desired by a hot chick? <clears throat> I can't get my neighbor to leave me alone, Benji. Sure, he's a stud, but he doesn't hold the candle to you. Just thinking of you, Benji, makes me feel warm all over. Uh, yeah, I get it. Let me leave you to it. Don't judge, kid. You probably gotta fight the chicks off at every turn. Me? Not so much. We all wanna be wanted. Even if we gotta pay for it. I understand. Uh, stay warm. Letter, sir. I'm from the Carrier's Guild. Excellent. I've been expecting you. One moment, please. Oh, yes. Very interesting, Klaus. But I see what you're playing at. Uh, sir? It's the next chess move from my friend Klaus. He's clearly attempting a Queen's Gambit. Cambridge Springs, to be exact. But I can parry that easily. Glad to hear it. Here, take this. And a little something extra for you. Klaus will be begging for mercy in no time. As much as one can be forced to do so, playing chess by mail, that is. <laughs> Got a letter for you. 
Janine, it's for you. It's from Angelica. In that case, burn it. But she's your best friend. Not after what she did, she kissed Pierre. So? But I kissed him first, she knows that. But honey, kissing a boy isn't like tagging a building. Why are you defending her, Mom? Why don't you ever take my side? I'm always on your side, hon. Tell you what, I'm gonna hold on to this letter, and we can talk again after you've calmed down a bit. You made it back. Thank God. Or did something happen? One of our guys, name of Mike. He disappeared on a delivery. Another carrier gone missing. Aye. I'm really worried. A lot of good men and women have been disappearing lately. I suspect that someone's been picking them off. How can I help? Just stay alert for now. Don't let your guard down. We're running down some leads on Mike. I'll keep you posted. to see you, Hotshot, but you'll have to come back when I have some deliveries. I appreciate the enthusiasm, Hotshot, but there's no work for you at the moment. Always good to see you, Hotshot, but you'll have to come back when I have some deliveries. There's nothing. Nada. Zip. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
This message is sponsored by the government and approved by the GRE. Do you want to beat the virus? Do you want to save humanity? It's simple. Have more sex. <laughs> this is the easiest and by far the most enjoyable way for mankind to survive. Have you done it five times this week already? Why not go for 15? Sex also has a positive effect on your overall health. It improves blood circulation along with your physical and mental abilities. We highly recommend the missionary position as well as the posterior knee elbow position. Gentlemen, improve the quality of your semen. Eat more spinach, broccoli, and eggs. For protein, insects are a must. Give birth to a beautiful new life. Let's make love and let's save humanity together. Luan, there's nothing left in here. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. Took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch. of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. Voice message from 5.36 p.m. Mr. 
Bukowski. Your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. As soon as the chopper is over the city, we'll call again. The one. I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Right, okay. I'll go there. And listen, that vodka, Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. men are high on some weird kind of drug. <sighs> Alamed all over again. Okay, I want to see what was making so much noise. And here I see some strange That meant a fight. I told you his name called Come on, tell me to give the She's still saying that one talk shit about his way. Like, wait, we should have known. Francis and Avery weren't gonna just leave if we asked nicely. But what else could we do? No one would help. Not even the peacekeepers. Now, I can't sleep. I keep seeing his bright blue eyes whenever I close my own. Mm, me too. Along with the rest of the team's eyes. Yeah, the nightmares. Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, so you have come after all. Yeah, here, a little something to celebrate another year on the planet. What do you want from me, Gajo? What do you mean? What do you need? Why the gift all of a sudden? But the one said it's your birthday, so I thought you... I understand the concept of a birthday gift. To get it, said dinner wall. Yeah, uh, okay, uh, listen, happy birthday. Ah, lost the bet. 
But at least I have something to cheer me up. Well, back? Never mind. Lavan is at the bar. Aiden! You came! You invited me. <laughs> Didn't you want me here? Let me get a bottle so you can catch up with us. Hey, Ro? Off duty, hmm? Listen, you know how stressful things can be sometimes. You get your orders, they don't make any sense. You're fighting the clock to get shit done. Oh, I feel you, trust me. So, you made it. Luan won. Luan? Is this about some bet? Yeah, with Daniel. She was sure you'd come. Him, not so much. It's almost as if it mattered to her. That's unusual. Here, Aiden. Drink. Nicholas's finest booze. We were about to play a game. No, Luan, we weren't. Come on. I'm out. Yeah, count me out. Too drunk already. A bunch of losers. Aiden, are you playing? What game? Don't bother. You'll just end up really drunk and humiliated. Aiden, the longer we talk, the more time we give this grump to back out. You in or out? Okay, let's do it. My man! Rules are simple. You either answer an awfully personal question about yourself, or you must perform the dare. Okay, wait, so if I don't want to answer the question, I get to pick the dare. You wish. We decide whether it's a truth or dare. If you don't do as you're told, you drink. So, have you slept with anyone in Villador? No. Are you for real? <laughs> Maybe the guy has standards. Fall in love first and all that crap. Yeah, good luck with that. Not everyone is like you, Ro. Okay. Your turn. I want to hear you play. Fuck off. Wait, what do you mean... I'll drink. Forget about it. You play an instrument. Never mind. I drank. Moving on. She used to play the ukulele. Really? Guys, moving on. Aiden. You play for Ro, and I dare you to ask Ro to sing. It's awful. Truth. I look at you and I wonder, who were you before all this? Good call. We really didn't want to hear him sing. Believe me. Who was Roe before he became a tough-as-nails peacekeeper? A father and a husband. You were a father? I lost my kids at the beginning of all this. I, uh, I tried to save them. I almost did, but at the end, I was the only one who survived. Now I'm alive with regrets. How, how did they... infected? Worse, people. A group of raiders, typical bandits of the time, tried to take our food. I wasn't gonna stand idle and give up everything we had. I had to defend my family. I was proud, stupid, outnumbered. I didn't, for the follow-up. Okay, enough of this. Anything you want to ask the master assassin here? I always wondered about that hit list. Shut up, bro. It's not your turn. After you escaped from Waltz, what did you do? Ooh, tough one. I did anything I had to in order to survive. All right, like what? That's another question. Drink. 
No. He's just making you answer the first one. Who cares what he asked? It started way before that. When I escaped from Waltz. Frank helped me. He showed me that there's something else I can do with all my anger. Back then, I thought I'd join them. Be a night runner someday. Ugh. Who was I kidding? They were wiped out at the VNC Tower. Frank lost almost everyone. The night runners fell. Frank started to drink, gave up on life, on himself. <laughs> so, I'm not a night runner. But at least I have my list. <sighs> Good night. Did I ask the wrong question? That's the beauty of this game, Pilgrim. Sooner or later, you get to the wrong question. I'll see you soon, I guess. Gadjo, here you are. Thank you. Thank you for the vodka. Thank you. Let's drink. For me, and another year in this shithole. You're not the worst, you know. Why, are you finally warming up to me? Nah, it just means there are worse assholes. And that I'm drunk. Where's Levan? I saw her with you. Now we played the game, and I asked the wrong question. About her life after escaping from Waltz. <sighs> Gajo, Gajo. You got her thinking about the past. Listen, and I'm not telling you this because I like you. I don't even fucking know why I am telling you this. But never, never ask Levan about her past. You get it? Good. Now, get lost. It's my birthday. Thank you.